Hi, I'm Christy Nelson here with your connection and a look at what's happening in North Texas. We will get a first look of what to expect at the Denton Black Film Festival in its 10th year. And a restaurant owner holds a fundraiser to help employees after the Sandman Hotel explosion in Fort Worth. But first, meteorologist Adrian Vaughn is here with a look at the weather, and it is looking dreary. <laughs> mm. I know, it's so ugly. <laughs> this has been like this almost a whole week. Yeah. We had a little bit of sunshine yesterday, just briefly in the afternoon. We'll finally see full sunshine again as we get towards Sunday, but until then, we're still in the gloom, and this is the view outside at around midday in Fort Worth. As we get into the afternoon and evening hours, this one will start to see more rain move into the area, and some of the rain could be moderate at times. A few rumbles of thunder can't be completely ruled out, but no severe weather is expected with all of this activity as it does move on in. So if you've got Friday night plans, you'll need the umbrellas. All of this is going to be heading out of the area as we get into early Saturday morning. We do keep the clouds in place, though, for much of the day tomorrow. It's cool, it's breezy with our high temperatures just into the low 50s. We do rebound nicely, though, on Sunday with sunshine returning, Christy. Love it. Can't wait. Thanks so much, Adrian. Moviegoers gathered last night for the first screening of this year's Denton Black Film Festival. NBC5 is a proud sponsor. Now in its 10th year, it is a five-day event designed to give black stories an audience and black creatives a platform. Ali Spilliers got a chance to talk with organizers about how far they've come. Film is a shared experience, an art form that brings people together to laugh, cry, and to hopefully learn. Waymaker, wordsmith. A lot of these stories have not been told or not been shared. And if you look at history, a lot of uh, people of color, their stories have not been told. It's been 10 years since Harry Eady launched the Denton Black Film Festival to showcase the work of black creatives. When we first started, we just had hopes and dreams. Tonight kicks off a five-day event that will welcome in 10,000 attendees to screen 85 films. A far cry from the 13 originally seen by 800 people one decade ago. But I think ultimately what we figured out is that we were a cultural festival. Expanding to include other art forms like music and spoken word. The culture brings out different perspectives. Like prophets like. Your perspective or my perspective. And that's why I think it is really important for people to understand more about their own culture, but also understand how to appreciate and accept others' cultures. Getting more black stories to the big screen is something Edie's wife and director of film programming, Linda Edie, says they've seen more of over the last decade. Still, they remain underrepresented and often unrecognized in Hollywood, due in part to challenges black filmmakers face getting started. Money is the first one. You know, getting money for your projects is just a big one. And sometimes getting in the door because it's that kind of, it's a people business. It's who you know. That's why this weekend will be not only a platform for filmmakers like Cynthia Freeman Gibbs. It's very... Um, empowering but a chance to network I've been to some other film festivals where I may be the only black filmmaker present and so to be at an event like this where we have so much talent within our community and that's being showcased that's big that's really major and ten years in Edie says they're just getting started we haven't even hit our stride in Denton Ali Spilliards NBC5 it's been nearly three weeks since the explosion at the Sandman Signature Hotel in downtown Fort Worth, and employees are struggling financially after the sudden loss of income. The owner of the restaurant destroyed in that blast held a fundraiser to help employees with lost wages. I just know what can I do to, to try to help the people affected that worked with me. This money to pay for everyday expenses like food, rent, uh, gas, you know, we're hoping we can do something meaningful. More than 20 people were treated for injuries as a result of that blast, and some of them were working at that, that restaurant's Fort Worth location. Josh Babb says that with so many lives upended, they're working to make sure that all Fort Worth employees will continue to receive rate wages. The restaurant owner told us he was limited in what he could say because there is pending legal action after his explosion, after the explosion. A major construction project will close part of Hillcrest Road in Dallas for a year. DART is building a 27-mile silver line connecting Plano and DFW Airport. And as crews work, they will build an underpass, and that area will be closed. Thanks so much for watching The Connection.